Are you hungry? I mean hungry all the time? Fair enough, Chef Buff Army. I got another nutrition video for you today on why the fuck am I so hungry all the time? I know there's some individuals, they eat a lot of food, but they're still hungry. I'm going to break down why that is and why that's not normal, right? It has to do with leptin. I'm going to go over with the big board. Got some nice colors on here. Pretty messy though. Bear with me. Uh, and what leptin's about, the hormone, and what you can do about this insatiable appetite. I want to go over a couple key points. Like point number one, that the adipose tissue that you store is actually an active endocrine organ. This means that it produces hormones. What hormones? Leptin. And that's what we're talking about today. It's a polypeptide hormone produced by fat cells. And what's the role of leptin? Well, it acts as a metabolism controller, so it can increase or decrease your metabolism. And more importantly for a lot of individuals, a hunger regulator. It determines how hungry you are. Remember, just because you're hungry doesn't mean you should eat. And being hungry isn't a good indicator of the overall amount of food you should eat in a day. It actually is all controlled by leptin. There's some individuals that eat 300 calories a day and are not hungry at all. And I'll break that down, why that's wrong, and how that happens in just a second. Let's give a scenario right here, right? Let's give one uh, bro, the beefcake bro, okay? He's in a perma bulk. He's forever bulking. What happens when you eat above your maintenance? What if you eat too many calories? What happens, right? Uh, so you eat above your maintenance, your fats will fill with triglycerides, and what happens? Your leptin is given a signal in your fat cells, it's increased. And as it's increased, it travels through your body, through your blood brain uh, barrier, through the blood barrier. And what ends up happening is part of your brain, your hypothalamus, has receptors, leptin receptors. And it's trying to evaluate how hungry you are at any one point. So as soon as you eat too much food, leptin's released. It goes to the receptors, it binds with those leptin receptors, and it tells your hypothalamus, you know what, I'm a fat fuck, I eat too much food, you know what, send a thing saying that I'm full. So your hypothalamus thinks, okay, we got too much leptin going on, bam, sends a signal back down to your stomach, back down to your organs, to your body, uh, telling you that you're too full, that you ate too much, to suppress your appetite so you won't be hungry, and to increase your metabolism to help you deal with that extra shit. This is what happens when everything's good. It's all good, right? Everything's working as it should. You eat too much, your body tells you, hey, fat fuck, you know, put the fork down, don't eat anymore. It's all good. That's how leptin's supposed to work. We now know what's supposed to happen, right? You eat too much, leptin's increased, it binds with its receptors, your hypothalamus sends a signal saying not to eat too much food. Okay, but what happens if you ignore all that shit? So, you start eating above maintenance. You want to get huge, 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 and you eat too much food, and you keep eating too much food. Well, what happens? Leptin's increased. You're eating too much, right? It's a fast fuel with triglycerides, produce some leptin, goes right to your hypothalamus, goes to the receptor, says, guy, you know, we got a problem here. He's eating too much. We got to fix this. Sends a signal back down to your body. Your body then tries to suppress your appetite. You ignore it, however. You're ignoring all the subtle indications by your body that you're getting fat. And it's trying to suppress your appetite. It's not working. You keep eating. The problem with this over a long period of time is that the fatter you become, insulin and leptin are correlated. Your insulin becomes less sensitive. But as well, your leptin, your leptin rece uh, receptors become less sensitive. So your body will get the signal that you're eating too much, but your hypothalamus becomes a little too lazy. It's not really sending the signal anymore down to your body. It figures, what's the point? He's still eating the food. So now it won't really suppress your appetite. So you don't even know how much food you're eating. So you're getting fat and you're no longer being told that you're getting fat. You're no longer being given the signal that you're too full. And anytime you try and lose fat from that, your body thinks it's in starvation mode. It thinks it sees yourself now as a svelte, you know, 8% body fat ripped dude, when in fact you're 100 pounds, 80 pounds overweight. Your body wants to then hold on to that fat because it thinks this up. It imagines you as, you know, Brad Pitt and Fight Club. It thinks you're super lean. doesn't want to let go of that fat. So, not only is it a hunger regulator, but ah, fuck, it's also a metabolism controller. So, it's going to down-regulate your metabolism to hold on to your fat. 
which means that you'll have to eat less food, less and less food, to lose weight, entering starvation, but a whole bunch of bad shit. Okay, what should we do now? We know that leptin is really important. We like our hypothalamus. It controls our pituitary gland. It's very important. What do we do now? Well, first of all, I put it as point number three, but never get fat in the first fucking place. I've said this a long, a lot of times, for a long period of time, you should not get fat. Don't get fat, bro. Well bulking. You might think, oh, it works for bodybuilders once again. Outside of the equation for you, and I'm not talking about five pounds overweight, I'm talking about those individuals to get husky, you know, 20, 30, 40 pounds. I highly recommend always staying at least relatively lean, you know, no more than say 18% body fat at any given time. If you're over 18%, you should try and get down to a lower body fat percentage. So that's obvious. The other important one when it deals with your hormones is you gotta make sure you get enough sleep. You should sleep at least seven hours a night. I don't want to hear, you know, I got two jobs, I got 18 kids, I'm going to school as well, and I'm a Pokemon master, I can't get enough sleep. I don't want to hear that shit. You could definitely get always enough sleep. You know, read a little bit before bed. I work, you know, 60 hours a week, but I make sure I always get at least seven hours of sleep. They found that leptin was decreased significantly in individuals who slept less than six hours. I think it was about 19%. Uh, the second big one that you should absolutely do for a variety of reasons is consume fish oil, consume essential fatty acids, consume omega-3s. How much should I consume? The question is, well, between four to six grams combined of EPA and DHA. Now, there's a lot of different brands, you know, Nature's Own, Carlson's Liquid Fish Oil, Solid brands, I implore you to do your own research, but you should definitely be consuming an omega-3. Those are the big three tips. They're obvious tips. We learned something today. I'm releasing now nutrition videos as well. I want to hear from you guys. What do you want to see? Post in the comment section below. I am all ears. And Buff Army, if you like the video, make sure to like the video. It does help me out. I appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, join the Buff Army. What the fuck are you waiting for? I will be seeing you guys, my zealous Buff Army, in the next video. Till next time, peace. One more thing I gotta say, for those that purchased the Alpha as fuck shirt and or the Super Saiyan shirt, apologies, there's been a slight delay with the manufacturer and I'm still waiting for mine. It's gonna be released in the third week of January, thank you for your patience. Uh, they're actually nearly sold out, both of them, I think there's maybe seven, eight t-shirts left. So if anyone's interested, I'll throw up the link and I hope to be rocking them in a video in the next couple weeks. Till then Buff Army, I'm out.